Hi friends, in this video, we will discuss the basic character of amines and the order of basicity of primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Amines are basic due to the presence of lone pair of electrons on nitrogen. It's a Lewis base. It reacts with acid to form its corresponding salt. R NH3 plus X minus. When we treat this salt R NH3 plus X minus with OH minus ion, NaOH or KOH, we get the amine bank. And this reaction is the basis for the separation of amines from the non-basic organic compounds insoluble in water. Now we will move to the KB and PKB values of amines. This is the reaction between amine and water. So when amine reacts with water, water acts as an acid and amine acts as a base, and then you get RNH3 plus and OH minus. So this is the equation to calculate KB. KB is equal to concentration of the product divided by concentration of RNH2. So as the concentration of OH increases, KB value increases. I mean the basicity of the amine is directly proportional to the KB value and PKB is equal to minus log KB. So when the KB value increases, PKB value decreases or in general we can say that larger the value of KB, smaller the value of PKB and stronger the basis. Now we will move to the primary, secondary and tertiary amine, the basicity of primary, secondary, and tertiary amines. In tertiary amine, there are three R groups attached to it. R groups are plus I groups. So all these three alkyl groups donate electron density to the nitrogen atom. So this lone pair of electron over this nitrogen atom in the tertiary, tertiary amine is easily available for donation. But in the case of secondary amine, there are only two alkyl groups. There are only two plus I groups. Hence, tertiary amine is more basic than secondary amine. Or the lone pair electrons on the nitrogen of the tertiary amine is easily available for the donation than the secondary amine. And when you move to the primary amine, there is only one R group, one plus I group. Hence, the availability of lone pair of electron on this nitrogen in the primary amine will be lesser than secondary amine. So this will be the order of basicity of tertiary, secondary and primary amines. Tertiary will be more basic than secondary and primary. Now we can compare it with ammonia. In ammonia, nitrogen is attached with three hydrogen atoms. There are no plus I groups. So obviously ammonia will be less basic than primary amine. So in general, we can say alkanamines. So all these three are alkanamines, right? So alkanamines are more basic than ammonia. And this is the case in gaseous phase. So this is the order of basicity in gaseous phase. In aqueous phase, this order is different. So we will see what are the different parameters that determines the basicity of this primary, secondary and tertiary amines in aqueous phase. These are the three different effects that determines the basicity of amines in aqueous phase. Inductive effect, solvation effect and steric effect. We will see all these effects one by one. We have already seen the inductive effect. In the case of tertiary, there are three plus I groups. So tertiary is more basic than secondary than primary. So if you consider only inductive effect, then the order of basicity of this primary, secondary and tertiary amines will be tertiary more basic than secondary than primary. These are the conjugate acids found by tertiary, secondary, and primary amines. Here in tertiary amine, there is one hydrogen attached to nitrogen. So it can form one hydrogen bond with water molecule. In the case of secondary, there are two hydrogen atoms attached to nitrogen. So they can form 
two hydrogen bonds. Both the hydrogen atoms can form hydrogen bonds with water. In the case of primary, you can have all three hydrogen atoms can make hydrogen bonds. So total three hydrogen bonds can be formed. So the conjugate conjugate acid formed by primary amine is more stabilized by three hydrogen bonds than secondary and primary. In the case of secondary, in the case of conjugate acid formed by secondary amine, there are only two hydrogen bonds. And in the case of tertiary, there is only one hydrogen bond. So primary conjugate acid of primary amine is more stabilized than secondary and then primary. So you can we can say that if you consider only solvation effect, primary amine will be more basic than secondary than tertiary. Why is this? Because because primary amine, the conjugate acid formed from primary amine is more stabilized. So the tendency of primary amine to react with H plus to form this conjugate acid will be very high. So primary react faster with H plus than secondary and then tertiary. If you consider only solvation effect, this will be the order. Now the third effect is steric effect. We know that basicity of these amines are due to their ability to donate lone pair of electrons. Here in the case of tertiary, there are three bulky R groups around this nitrogen. So the donation of this lone pair of electron will be hindered by these bulky groups or the other groups may not be able to come close to this nitrogen atom to accept those lone pair of electrons. So the chances of this tertiary amines to donate this lone pair of electron is less compared to secondary where there are only two R groups. One side is nitrogen. Nitrogen is very small. So this lone pair is more exposed than the lone pair electrons present on the tertiary amine. When you move to the primary amines, there are only there are only one R group and both the other atoms are hydrogen atoms. So this this lone pair of the lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen of primary amine is more exposed and it is not it is easily available for the other uh, ions to get easily attacked. So when you consider a steric effect, primary will be more basic since the lone pair electrons over the nitrogen of the primary amine is easily available for donation. Due, but in tertiary amine, due to the steric hindrance, due to the crowding of this R groups around the nitrogen atom, these lone pair electrons are less available or less, less exposed to other uh, atoms or ions which is required for required those electrons. So if you consider the steric effect, we can say primary is more basic than secondary and tertiary. Here you can see all the three effects on the board now. Inductive effect, solvation effect, and steric effect. So the basicity of a particular amine depends on the cumulative effect of these three. And it is found that secondary amine is most basic. The order is secondary, tertiary, and primary when the R group is C2H5. When the R group is C2H5, secondary is most basic, then tertiary, and then primary. Then if the R group is CH3, then the order becomes secondary, primary, and tertiary. It is when the R group is CH3. Aryl amines are less basic than ammonia since the lone pair electrons over the nitrogen atom of aniline or aryl amine is in conjugation with the double bonds present in the benzene ring. Due to this resonance, lone pair of electrons over the nitrogen atom is not available for donation. Hence, aryl amine is less basic than ammonia. Now consider these two compounds. Aryl amines that contains an electron withdrawing or electron donating groups attached to the benzene ring. So when we have an electron withdrawing group on the benzene ring, then the flow of electrons from the nitrogen to the benzene ring increases. Hence, since we have an electron withdrawing groups here. So that again reduces the availability of lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. 
Here in the second case, when we have an electron donating loop on the benzene ring, these groups donate electron density to the benzene ring, then the flow of electrons from the nitrogen atom to the benzene ring decreases. So that in turn makes the second compound more basic than the first compound. Hope you got the concepts well. Thank you.